so I really think that today there is still a gap between intention and action as far as marketing is concerned in terms of sustainability. So first thing is that uh, all marketers now understand the value of sustainability and how it can you know, help your business and grow your market share. But still, they don't know exactly how to proceed. They are not really trained and onboarded. So I think it's super important to train them, to educate them, and then to make sure that they execute. Because it's not only a matter of strategy, but it's also a matter of execution and how we can accelerate in terms of action for the planet, but also for the society. I think for marketers, it's uh, critical to bridge the intention and action gap. And I think to do it, there are um, two important uh, spheres. One is the internal and the other is the external. Internally, it's about trying to behave more as a cross-functional organization rather than marketing taking the whole burden. Because it's uh, if you start as a, as a big organism that already shares common goals and a, a common purpose, it's going to be much easier to drive change. And internally, that's, I think, the most critical piece. Externally, it's about identifying the key stakeholders with whom uh, we operate as an organization. It can be your customers, your suppliers, uh, governmental organizations, uh, really naming who those stakeholders are. Of course, your consumers and, and you know, your employees as well. I think one of the biggest travesties of our generation will be to believe that sustainability is going to be sold by somebody else. I think we need to move away from sustainability being a department to becoming everybody's business, including and most importantly, marketing's business. We need to change the what and the how of the business, not necessarily just the why. So to close the Seidu gap originally, I think we need to find the real insights that can really um, trigger the consumer behavioral change, especially at the moment of shopping or buying decision. Because unless we make those changes or find those real triggering points, I think we cannot change the objective of corporate companies to produce more. Because the, if the need is there, they need to be serving to that need. So I think we need to find that real insights, how we, how we can help them to go for that direction. So that is kind of my top priority and further focus on building full value chain and finding the right storytelling by building it based on the real insights. We need to tap into the power of Gen Z in our, in our own organizations, really as our future leaders, but also with their consumer mindset to almost reverse mentor the, the key decision makers, business partner with them so that it's almost embedded in our culture. And I'd say that would be a great starting point for us if we can implement that as a priority. I think the first thing it has to come from the top, you know, both from corporate executives and CEOs to the CMOs around the world. You know, I think we all will agree as consumers, um, as parents, that it is important. Sustainability is important in what we do to build brands, what we do to build products. But I think in order to bridge that gap, we need to actually keep it focused and simple. I think everyone is trying to do too many things. And I think we need to focus as an industry and as brands and, and as people uh, and as marketeers, importantly, to focus on a few things that we know will have impact. 